Hey everyone, so today I'm going to be filming a, another video and it is just going to be my makeup palette declutter. This is going to be, this part of the video is going to be pretty boring. I'm also going to be organizing my eyeshadow drawer and my, organize my shadows in a way that will make them more easier to, like, um, easier to use. If you saw my first eyeshadow declutter video as well as part two I will link both of them down below as well as my makeup declutter slash organization playlist if you want to see those videos so you can see them all um I will also be posting my lip products declutter as well so these are all my palettes I don't have very many because I don't know I just don't have very many palettes um I find that most palettes uh, are high end and there's not very many at the drugstore. There is now, but they're all similar and dupes of high end ones that I just don't haven't bought them or anything. So these are the palettes that I have, and I'm gonna go through them and decide if I want to keep them or not. And I've already kind of decided what I'm keeping and what I'm not keeping, but yeah. Okay, so first is this 32 color palette from Elf and. Uh, I got this as a Christmas gift a couple years ago, but I just don't use it. There's not enough, like, just the color selection in it uh, kind of deters me from using it. I, there's only, like, some, like six neutral brown shades, and the rest are, like, kind of just not colors that, I don't know. It's just fine, hard to find ways to wear this palette with the shades that are in it. They are pretty, but I just don't find myself ever using this palette or wanting to use it. So I am going to declutter this, pass it along to someone who will love it more than I do. So I did declutter one palette, so that's good. Um, Next is my Maybelline The Nudes palette. Um, A lot of people don't like this. I personally don't think it's bad. Um, obviously there's some shadows that could be better, you know. But I don't think it's a bad palette, especially for the price. I believe it's less than $10. Don't quote me on that because I'm not 100% sure. But it, it does have some really pretty shades. Um, and I do really enjoy it. But one thing I am going to be doing is comparing to see if I have any, like, colors in my collection that are similar to any of the colors in my palettes. Just to make sure that I'm not keeping dupes and making sure that I'm keeping, you know, only products that I like. So, I do like this palette and I am keeping it, but I am going to be comparing shadows to this palette to make sure that I don't have dupes since I am keeping a palette. Um, I also have the blushed nudes, which I'm for sure keeping. This is one of my favorite eyeshadow palettes of all time. It is so gorgeous. I love the colors. Uh, these are, like, my favorite shades to wear. Um, I am keeping it. I may declutter it once I get the actual Naked 3 palette. But for now, I'm keeping it because I do like these kinds of shades. But I may declutter it in the future. We'll see. But I am keeping it, like I just said, for the 50 millionth time. Next, I have this revealed, the Coastal Scents Revealed Smoky Palette. And I don't know how I feel about this yet. I just got it, so I'm not really sure how I feel about it, if I like it, if I don't like it. Um, I do have one complaint. This particular shadow uh, did, when I got it, um, fall out. It just... As you can see, it just comes right out. So, um, I may end up, um, like, going through this palette and possibly just, like, depotting the ones I like and getting, like, a Z palette and putting them in there or something. I don't know, but I haven't decided what I'm going to do with this yet. I haven't really used it enough to formulate an opinion on it. Um, and once I decide if I like it or not, you will find out in my... Uh, spring cleaning declutter and I may declutter this I'm not sure yet so I'm gonna hold on to it for a little while longer um, I also have the revealed three palette from coastal Scents. I received both of these in boxy charms these are pretty shades I'm just not sure how I feel about this palette as well I haven't used it as much as I'd like to um, that is my goal is to kind of like use these and figure out if I really like them or not the problem with this is it has sh quite a few shades in it that I just don't like. I don't care for this brown shade. Um, I have a color similar to this that I like better. Um, these are pretty, but then, like, 
I don't like these pink, sh this pink shades, and like these kind of this kind of brown shade. I'm just not sure how I feel about it yet, so I do want to use it and you know decide if I really like it. As of right now, I just don't really care for it personally. I just don't feel like the shade colors all work together, but I do want to play around with it a little bit more, and I may just I don't know what I'm gonna do with it yet I may end up passing it on we'll find out I'm just gonna you know give myself a month or two to play around with it and if I don't end up using it then I am going to declutter it next is my beloved naked palette from Urban Decay I don't have all of them yet this is the only one I have um just because I spend my money on food and gas most of the time that's <laughs> what I spend a lot of it on and whatever so this is the only naked palette I have but I'm obsessed with it I love it I did a tutorial with it um it's just amazing I'm definitely not decluttering it because I love it so yeah keeping that <laughs> um and then lastly is this elf 100 color eyeshadow palette um I like a lot of these shades I do I did break the lid because I dropped it and whatever um, but I do like a lot of these shades. They are very pretty and pigmented. I'm just not sure. Like, I don't know because I like these neutral shades over here and like this row. Uh, I pretty much like it all except for these greens and blues because I don't know. Like, I like some of these darker greens, but then there's some of these blue shades that I will just never wear because I don't wear blue eyeshadow very often. Sorry if I'm really close to the camera. I don't know how the audio is going to be on this. But, you know, there are colors I like. But then there's some that I just don't know. So I think I'm going to keep it and play around with it. And if I just don't find myself using it very often. Then I will pass it along to someone else. Um, because it is a good palette. I mean, obviously I did drop it and have to repress a couple. But they're not even, like, good shades anyways in the palette. So I may just, like, get rid of those ones and pass it along. Um... That sounds really horrible, but it'd be to someone I know and I've known for a while and they wouldn't mind. So, yeah, I think I'm going to keep it for now, play around with it, see what I think. And this is really going to force me to wear makeup more because that's the only way I'm going to be able to try these. So, um, the makeup decluttering uh, part of my spring cleaning series decluttering thing won't be until the end of it because I want to be able to, you know, give all my, give myself a chance to use these makeup products and stuff that I'm not sure about keeping, you know. Um, but yeah, so I got, did declutter one palette, so I mean, I feel like that's pretty good, uh, to declutter one palette because it's just kind of hard things to get rid of for me anyways. I just you know okay so now we're gonna organize the drawer here's the drawer um and i'm not sure how i'm gonna go about doing this uh to be honest but these fit in here we go this may be the jackpot right here the best fit possible because I do feel like I get single shadows often enough that this will work better personally I'm going to attach these okay So I just attached the Sally Girl shadows together so they'll stack together and fit. So I think that's how I'm going to organize my single shadows. Obviously they have a little bit of wiggle room, but I think I'm going to go with this because this definitely works the best. I'm just transferring them over to this instead there we go now I can just set these on the side so that obviously works better it holds them all very nice so 
is what we have so far. This is kind of like awkward packaging. So I'm just gonna lay it down in the front, I guess. It's gonna be a little free floater right there. We'll do boxes. Um, and then hope it like that. And then these ones can actually stack right there. Hopefully. That's how I'm going to store these. These are on the side propped up, which isn't the most like convenient thing in the world. But it's going to have to work because I don't know how else to store them. So I have my single shadows in the basket, my quads and trios in the basket. This little guy floating up here and then my comfort zone palette as well as my Mabel or Avon quads on the side. So this is how I'm going to store my eyeshadows. It's not perfect, but it's going to work for now. So... And then also, once my whole organization is done, these will hopefully get to sit stacked um, on the shelf because my my goal is to completely get rid of one of my organization drawer sets. So these come in a set of three drawers um, type thing. I'm sure you guys know what they look like. And I had three of them with three drawers with makeup in them, but my goal is to have two two so yeah but that is this organization i hope you guys enjoyed please comment down below if you have any questions requests or concerns i would definitely appreciate the video requests also um give this video a huge thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe because it would make my day and i will see you guys next time bye guys